Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, simplify an expression uh, when we have using complex numbers, but when we have this, uh, the radical of a negative number. So basically, in this example here, um, you know, what we have is we want to apply some operations. But the problem is we're taking the square root of a negative number, but we want to use complex numbers. So to do that, we need to understand how to rewrite you know, the square root of a negative number as a complex number. And basically, for this problem here, we can rewrite our imaginary unit square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So the square root of negative 1 is going to equal i, which is going to be our imaginary unit, which once we use our imaginary unit, we can now apply operations like we've kind of been familiar with. So what I'm going to do is any single time I have a square, um, a square number, or this, um, the square root of negative number, I am going to break it apart into that number times negative 1. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because now I can break, up fur I can break that up further into the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. Therefore, I now produce the square root of 4, which is 2. The square root of negative 1 is i times the square root of 16 is going to be 4 times the square root of negative 1 is i. Now, when I have to apply my operation in complex numbers, hopefully it's a little bit more familiar with you. This, we kind of treat this just like variables, which is going to be an 8i squared. Well, i squared is negative 1, so that simplifies to negative 8. Um, OK, in this example here, we're going to do the exact same thing. I'll have 2 times the square root of 36 times negative 1 plus the square root of 25 times uh, negative 1. I could break it apart like I did before, but in reality, you don't really have to do that. You hopefully can just know that that's going to be 2 times 6i plus 5 times negative, uh, square root of negative 1 is i. Well, here, when I'm multiplying 2 times 6i, that's going to give me 12i plus 5i. Now, when you're multiplying, you can only multiply the 2 times the 4 and the i times the i, the real times the real and the imaginary times the imaginary. But in this case, when you're adding, we treat this just like kind of var variables. 12x plus 5x is going to be 17x. Or in this case, when we have i, we're going to treat, we're going to keep that the same, so it's going to be 17i. Uh, over here, I have a binomial times a binomial, but I'm, but I'm going to want to simplify this first. Oops, that was supposed to be a 9. So when I go ahead and simplify this, I have 3 minus 5i uh, times 7 minus 8i. I'm just following the same process, but I'm working up a little bit quicker. This, I can simplify now down to 3 minus 15i times 7 minus 8i. Well, now I just need to apply my operations here. Now I'm going to want to apply FOIL to finish off the problem. So I'll have 3 times 7, negative 15 times i, 7 times 5, and then 3 times negative 8. So 3 times 7 is going to be 21. Negative 15 times negative i, well, 10 times 8 is going to be 80. 5 times 8 is going to be 40. So 80 plus 40 is going to be 120. Negative times negative is going to be a positive. And then we have i squared, so we have a positive 120 i squared. Um, then I'll do my inner. 7 times 15, that's going to be 7. That's going to be 105, so that's negative 105 i. And then 3 times negative 8i is going to be a negative 24i. Well, i squared, remember, is going to be negative 1. Uh, so negative 1 times 120 is a negative 120. Plus 21 is going to be 99. And then negative 104 minus 24 is going to be negative 129i. There you go. Not too bad, right? Over here, I'm just going to simplify these real quick. So that's going to be 3 times 9i minus 7 times 7i. Multiply these out here. I have 27i minus 49i. And basically what we're just asking is, you know, 27i minus 49i is going to leave us with 22i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a quick little example of how to rewrite an expression using complex numbers and then to simplify. Thanks.